Throughout the 22-23 season, Newport County had a lot of key players, one of them being Omar Bogle, and he had a very interesting first year at the club to say the least. In this video, I'm going to go through that entire first year that he's had. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into it. Bogle signed for Newport on the 30th of June 2022 from Hartlepool for an undisclosed fee, signing a two-year contract. The striker had formerly played for clubs like Grimsby Town, Cardiff City, Wigan Athletic and Doncaster Rovers. The striker had been welcomed by Newport fans not only because of his EFL experience, but also because we needed to replace Dom Telford, the Golden Boot winner from the season before, who left Newport to join Crawley Town. When signing, it was clear that Omar Bogle's move was heavily influenced by that of James Robery, someone who had formerly worked with Bogle during both of their times at Cardiff City. Robery said in an interview that he was really pleased to have Omar at Newport County with himself and Carl having worked with him previously, and that they knew what he could bring to the team. Bogle made his debut on July 30th, 2022, where he scored a 1-1 away draw against Sutton United. Robbery departed Newport on October 10th, 2022 after a poor run in form that led Newport 18th in the league after 13 matches and just a couple of points away from the League 2 drop zone. During this time, Bogle had managed 6 goals in 13 games, which were all starts and mostly the full 90. His most recent goal at that point was on the 1st of November, where he netted against league leaders Leighton Orient in a magnificent 2-1 away win. His other league goals had included that against Salford in a 2-3 home loss, Tranmere in a 2-1 home win, and two goals in a 4-0 win to Harrogate Town. I'll also mention here that I will not be including cup games in this video. Graham Cochran was appointed as Newport boss on October 20th, 2022, signing a two and a half year contract. Bogle would go on to score on the third game under Cochrane, scoring a goal against Northampton Town away in Cochrane's third game in charge, as well as providing a lot of good creativity and runs in the previous games. Bogle would go on a 15 game streak of not providing any goals or assists. While in these games he did not provide any goal contributions, he did provide some good passing of play and a decent show of fitness and drive to get goals. Some fans, however, didn't see it that way as they base strikers off of how many goals they get and due to him not getting them, this did unfortunately bring some potential tension between the fan base. Bogle responded to this in the best way possible a few games later. On the 14th of February, he scored a brace in a 2-2 draw to at the time second in the league Stevenage. This would be followed by an unfortunate spell of no goals for a few games, but he was close in numerous of the games and clearly showed that he gained a lot of confidence back. This then led to April until the end of the season. Newport were near enough safe from eradication at this point, so there was a lot less pressure for results to go their way, and this gave the chance for Cochrane and Dunn to change the way of play to overall potentially better fit the attacking aspect of the team. And with that, Bogle scored 6 goals and provided 2 assists in the month of April. For this run of good form, he even got nominated for EFL League 2 Player of the Month. While he did not win the award, it did prove that his form was back and that he could take it on into the 23-24 season. And he proved this by providing 2 goals in the final game of the season to Crew Alexander at home. And there we have it, an interesting first year for the striker who scored 19 goals and provided 2 assists in all competitions for Newport in his first season at the club. A very good return for the 29 year old. While he went on a few dry patches in the 22-23 season, he did prove his class by getting into the contention for League 2 Player of the Month in April and having some great form towards the end of the season. Hopefully he can kick on going into the 23-24 campaign. Let me know what your thoughts are on Omar Bogle's first season at the club and can he kick on going into next season. Make sure guys leave a like and subscribe, trying to hit 100 by the start of the 23-24 season. Support the channel whatever way you see fit using the links in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon or evening depending on when you're watching this and take care.